Good afternoon, I'm Cassandra Anderson at Seneca York News. Weather warnings set out by Seneca email with Environmental Canada forecasting, snowfall starts from the afternoon. Campuses will remain open. Seneca shuttle buses services run until 2 p.m. to the end of the day. Check My Seneca for any status updates, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Here's Seneca reporter Haisa Kevakati. Four teenage boys of the age of 13 years old were arrested for a swarm-style assault on TTC operators in Scarborough near Kennedy and Moraine Roads. Here's Seneca reporter Haisa Kevakati. John D. Nino, the president of Canadian Transit Union, has stated the amount of violent attacks on public transit. He says it is a crisis level. He states there is a need for a national task force to help prevent and de-escalate the violence. Toronto was raked as the most disappointing city. That Toronto is overrated. Online polls recorded that 10.9% of visitors were disappointed, and Michelle McKay stated based on those polls that the city was a regrettable attraction. John Tory was stated a national mental health summit. Union is asking for the National Transit Safety Task Force to put in place. Ontario is growing a youth virtual mental health program. Ontario is setting out $4.75 million to expand on a virtual walk-in counseling program for young people to access mental health services. A violent home invasion happened on King Street West and Strachan Avenue at a condominium near Liberty and Dufferin Street. Victim was taken to the hospital where they had an emergency surgery. 28-year-old Fring Pong surrendered himself at 31 Division and was arrested. He is facing charges with the attempted murder, robbery, and firearm, forcible confinement, possession of a restricted firearm with amenity, and possession of property obtained by crime under 5,000. There was a second man suspect that still remains unknown. Toronto police stated the unknown suspect to be armed and to be dangerous. Canadian banks raised their key interest rates, now by 4.5%. Tiff Mecklem stated that he sees the central banks go on a pause with the further increases with the economic development, while he suggests it will affect household spending, especially on housing and big ticket items. There is a snowfall warning today, so...